today we're going to discuss how to compute uh, height of side including secondary part so here are the instruction for secondary fort just a brief instruction and here is the tidal prediction form so how to use this so in tidal prediction form there are boxes which with numbers so in number one to four what we're going to do is to enter high water and low water times at the heights and on number five we need to calculate the range and standard for that's those are the difference between the height and boxes three to four now number six we need to enter the seasonal change at standard for with sign chains but to understand this just like you to introduce that these are the instruction and this is the tidal prediction form so to understand furtherly I'm going to give you an example so here is an example what we're going to do is to find the times and height and low water so the secondary fort okay this is seven journal tide on 16 of January using the following extract so this example already given the extract information from the admiralty type table so you don't need to change the pages to extract the information it's already here all you need to do or you, all you need to need is to understand where and what to put on the boxes of the title for prediction form so let's proceed so to get the times and heights what we need to do is to enter the uh, information on the boxes uh, so so on the standard port we need to put the high water so in order to know what which one is a high water observe or make a visual inspection on the standard port information at january 16 we have 324 in the morning up to 10 14 in the morning and 1514 minutes in the afternoon and 2100 21 minutes in the evening so you have at 324 we have 0 0.8 at 10 14 we have 1.7 so therefore the higher level war is on the 1.7 so we're going to put 1.7 on the box of the high water so let's proceed 10.14 is equivalent to 1.7 let's check 10.14 1.7 okay so next high water is 2127 so we need to check 127 is 2.1 okay now on next low water 324 is equivalent to 0 0.8 324 is equivalent to 0 0.8 so you put it there low water low water next low water is 1554 there you go 15 oh 1514 equivalent to 1.2 so on the box of low water 15 14 then the box of low water 1.2 equivalent to 1.2 now to fill up number six what is number six number six means enter the seasonal change at standard port okay so where is the standard port standard port is equivalent to seasonal change standard port is equivalent to negative 0.1 so you might be asking why is it negative but on the box is positive 0.1 
as you can remember on the instruction you need to sign change on number six so therefore it is positive okay okay now to get the seasonal change on the standard board where to get this it is from the standard board part two of the tie tables it's negative 15 minutes and mean low water is negative 25 minutes so this 15 minutes you're going to put it here on number seven and this 25 minutes we're going to put it here on number eight okay 25 minutes now you might be asking where to get nine and ten boxes so the equivalent of this you need to interpolate okay so how to do that so as you can see why do we need to interpolate because there's no direct value let me let us see so this one this 1.7 height of water high water is there any 1.7 here so no but it is nearer in 1.8 so we can get negative 0.8 in the standard port so get negative 0.8 put it here this is negative point how about 2.1 do we have value exactly 2.1 in here there's no exact value of 2.1 here there's 2.5 1.8 1.2 or 0.4 so to get the exact value of 2.1 here exact value of 2.1 here we need to interpolate so to interpolate i prepare or I did a computation so for the interpolation we need to get the value of 2.1 so there's no value for 2.1 so we extract 2.5 that's in, in the middle of 2.5 and 1.8 as you can see here 2.5 and 1.8 to get the value of 2.1 so 2.5 is equivalent to negative 1.2 so we're going to put it here and 2.1 we don't have value so we're going to put x in 1.8 the value exact value is 0 0.8 negative so to get the interpolation value of the x 1.2 is equals to x 1.2 minus negative 0.8 is equals to negative 0.4 2.5 minus 2.1 is equivalent to 0 0.4 2.5 minus 1.8 is equivalent to 0 0.7 so it will be transpose so x is equals to or x is over negative 0 0.4 and 0 0.4 is over 0 0.7 so cross multiplication in order to x to be left on the left side so we need to transpose this negative multiply by 0 0.4 negative 0.4 multiplied by 0 0.4 over 0 0.7 will give you a value of negative 0 0.23 so this is not yet the value of x so this is the difference so in order to get the value of 2.1 we need to subtract it in negative 1.2 here so negative 1.2 negative 1.2 minus the value that we get 0 0.23 will give us 0 point or negative 0 0.97 or 1 so let us check if it is 1 no? negative 1 so there you go the value of 2.1 is negative oh sorry so there you go the value of 2.1 
is negative 1. Okay? That's how we're going to get the value. So, do we have value of 0 0.8? Let's check. There is no 0 0.8 here. So, therefore, we're going to... We need to interpolate it also. So, the value of 0 0.8 is x so where do we get this 1.2 so it is in the middle of 1.2 and 0 0.4 it's here 0 0.8 we don't have value for 0 0.8 or exact 0 0.8 now to get that we need to interpolate 1.2 is equivalent to 0 0.4 negative 1.2 is equivalent to 0 0.4 negative and 0.4 is equivalent to positive 0.1 so here is the complete interpolation so 1.2 minus 0.8 is equivalent to 0.4 1.2 minus 0.4 is equivalent to 0 0.8 so negative 0.4 and x is x negative 0.4 minus negative 0.1 is equivalent to negative 0.5 in short the equivalent is 0 0.25 negative again that is not yet the value of the x we need to subtract it on the value ahead so negative 0.4 here negative 0.4 minus the value that we got negative 0.25 or 0 negative 20 negative 0.4 minus 0.25 is equivalent to negative 0.15 so therefore 0.8 is equivalent to negative 15 so let's check if it is 15 so they rounded it up to 0 0.2 so it's zero negative zero point two. Okay. Now to compute the difference or the answers. So ten fourteen minus fifteen minutes, you will get nine fifty nine. So twenty one twenty seven minus fifteen minutes, you will get twenty one twelve. In 324 minus 25 minutes, you will get 259. In 1514 minutes minus 25 minutes, you will get 1449. Okay? Now, to get this... Oh, there's still seasonal change here. How to get number 11. So, seasonal change, there is zero. Okay? No need to change sign because it is zero. Now, to go back, 1.7 plus 0.1 minus 0.8 is equivalent to 1. 2.1 plus 0.1 minus 1 is equivalent to 1.2. Let us check. 1.7 plus 0.1 minus 0.8 is 1 so therefore 0 0.8 plus 0 0.1 minus 0 0.2 is equivalent to 0 0.7 and 1.2 plus 0 0.1 minus negative uh, 0.5 or minus 0 0.5 is equivalent to 0 0.8 so that's how we get the tides or height of tides and low water including the times okay thank you very much hope you watch this video again and again in order for you to understand furtherly